Hello friends and welcome back to my Sparta campaign for the Wrath of Sparta DLC for Total War, Total War Rome 2. I am, as always, Autogadius Magnus. Now I've ended uh, four or five turns, not much has been happening. Uh, the Rhodians tried to take Kytheria from me, but I just thought it resolved it and was able to defeat them. So other than that, not much has been occurring. I've just been recruiting and keeping my eyes peeled for Athenian bastards trying to do stupid things that I hate. Um, yeah, other than that, not much has been happening, really, to be honest. Um, so just basically save you some probably boring so administration tax encryption. Okay. Um, boring time where not much is occurring. I just decided to, to play them my, by myself. Again, you didn't miss much, so don't worry too much about it. Um, to read my tax rate. I was having some problems. I've been recruiting and whatnot, so tax problems. It'll drop my sorry, income problems, but I can drop it down now. Negative 20. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. I'm still making some money. Now that I would like to be able to recruit those. And it doesn't really hurt my public order that much. So, actually, that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that for another turn. High taxes and then reduce them later, so. Okay, let's end this turn. I can build settlements, but I'm more interested in being able to purchase mercenaries and then turn my armies against the Athenians and Macedonians. And talk about my strategy here for defeating both of those factions uh, in a couple of minutes once this turn is fulfilled, ended. The Rhodians and the Ionian League, or Ionian League are causing me a bit of a headache just by sailing around my um, periphery there. Um, but it's not that big of a deal at this point just yet. Ellis is kind of moving around looking for... Either they're trying to help me or they're trying to... What the hell was that? Either they're trying to help me or they're trying to... Uh, Look, they're looking around for places to conquer. Persia is moving around here. Rhodos. Go away. Uh, Persia is at war now with... Um, who? Yeah, the Aeonian League. Send an envoy back, a competitor. Let's just send an envoy. I would like to save some money. Okay, the army is basically finished now. Who's a procrastinator? What? Yeah, you've been sitting there. I know. Whatever. I'm doing what I can. To the pool. To the pool. Okay. Who is this? BT League. Okay, it's fine. Thank you. Rodos. Oh, I hate you, Rodos. I hate you almost as much as I hate these damn Athenians. But... El Penis, what's going on now? Ooh, the Beatin League is attacking Larissa, which is great. Who is this? Byzantium? Well, that's not cool. We're going to have to do something about this. Let's move you back this way. I can basically take these two settlements, then. Well, potentially, with my new army. Hopefully. I'm just causing corruption problems here. Which is great. You. Friend, I'm going to force march you... To the north, we're going to start taking on Byz the Byzant Byz Byzantium. Um, let's do some technology research research here. North of all provinces. I suppose I could do that. Well, for all commerce, public order, no problem. Cynicism, well, from learning. Mm. That cavalry see tower damage. I could do that, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, do that first. You're just there. Okay, here. Here. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the diplomatic map here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm hoping to do is we have Byzantium causing problems up in this area, so I'm probably hopefully going to be able to take these these two settlements. And then this is all Mac Macedon or Macedon. This is who? 
This is Corinthos. Okay, so they should be able to, they'll probably help me against Macedon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take at least one army, possibly two if I can, and start carving up Macedonian territory and start working my way this way, which is all Athens and Byzantium and Byzantium here. Hopefully that'll help. That should, hopefully, for the most part, take care of my northern flank if I control all of this, obviously, with the help of Corinth. Hopefully Corinth will take this. This is Macedon as well. If I have to, I'll send an army this way. I don't really care. I can also take Kirkyra. Um But that's probably what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sending at least one or two armies. Hopefully I can keep this... My allies will help me keep the seas clear of Athenians and Rhodians and the Ionian League. I can just basically march my way along this coast. This is Persia. I'm not too interested in fighting them, but basically getting down into here in Byzantium. And this is all... This is all Persian Empire. Okay. This is all Ionian League, and then basically marching down through here and taking on the Ionian League, kind of island hopping down in here and taking out the Ionian League. It's kind of my goal, or the way that I have it envisioned anyway at this point. Could purchase some mercenaries. Should we do that now? That's a lot of upkeep. I'm going to wait with that. I'm going to wait till I have enough money. I have more money. Let's end the turn. I could also start building some more structures in my settlements, but I want to save my money, conserve my money, because I know in the winter that's going to be very expensive and costly. And I don't have as much income in the winter, so I'd like to be able to keep some funds while I can. What? Oh, God damn. I can't do that. Why are you attacking Argos? You stupid bastards. Corinthos, you're pissing me off. Well, now I suppose I could attack Argos. Shit. I really would rather be able to take it to Byzantium, but... Troublesome. I was originally going to take Ar the Argide territory anyway, or Ar Ar Argos territory anyway, so... <sighs> what should I do now? Very, very, well, potentially very weak there around Lacedaemon because all my armies are in foreign territory or far away from my hometown except for that one. So, <sighs> wish you fools would not fight each other and instead focus on the real enemy. But as is typical of Greek city states, short sighted and Beggar thy neighbor, neighbor behavior. Go away, Rhodos. Oh, no, Ellis too. God damn it. So Persia's now fighting Macedon, so that's nice. Okay. So what is the diplomatic situation here? Go away. I don't care. Argos, we're trading. You like us. That doesn't mean we have to fight you, necessarily. I'm not going to fight you. I don't care. I have more things, more important things to do. What is our diplomatic situation currently with Argos? Do we still have... Still not aggression pact. Aggression pact. It'll piss off Corinth a bit, but I, I just want to keep that trade, and I don't really want to fight them right now. I, I have no desire to fight. I could take the settlements, but that would leave me very weak in my rear. They could potentially, if I take Argos, they would could potentially attack me from Man Mantinea, and if not, I could, I suppose, take Mantinea and attack that way. But I just don't want to put up with that problem right now. I have too much too much garbage to worry about. Uh, to my east and to the north. Rhodos here. Macedon. Oh, God. El Paniki or El Panisi? 
This is what? This is the BT in league. This is the Ayatolian league. Byzantium is pissed off, basically. You're raiding, okay? Wish I could see what is in the water out here, but I'm guessing it's all Athens. Can I do anything with this army? I would really like to get up there as soon as possible and take those territories. But I'm guessing Athens will... Actually, I'll prob what I'll probably do is take this army and attack... And I'll move that other smaller army into Areos for the time being. Probably what I shall do. They're already... Well, they're down here. They still have a long way to go. Which is a pain in the ass. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and pull this army out. If Athens or someone attacks me in Oreos, I don't really care. I can always retake it. Okay, we attacking Pharsalos, Pharsalos and Ferre uh, here in a minute. Hopefully capturing them without much of a much of a problem. Uh, I could potentially now trade exports. Okay, I could drop this. It's not a lot. It's not very much money though. God damn. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more funds, so let's end turn for now. I'm guessing Athens will probably move in and attack Oreos. Or someone will. They are moving north. It's just a little fleet. Ooh. Is that an Athenian army up there? Looks like I'm going to have to fight an Athenian army. Which I'll do gladly. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I could do that this episode. That would be fun. Yeah, I wish Argos and Corinth would get their poop in a group. <clears throat> I think Ellis went to attack Farsalus. That's fine. I'll attack that Athenian army and then take Fere. Fere, whatever it's called. Ionian League is moving in on Oreos by the look of it. Which I do have another army coming. And should let me take care of that problem. Macedon is also moving in. Oh, you fucking jackals. If Ellis takes Farsalus, I'll probably just pull that army back. Depending on what it looks like up there. I just can't afford to lose any settlements for any prolonged period of time. Okay, they negotiated peace. Ready to command. Okay. Asian force lands. Oh, crap. Although it's not very big. Actually, they're not moving in against me, so... Could fight you. Should I? Should I move, pull back into Oreos? Right. <sighs> Just a pain in the ass. But we but be a team league. Boetian League. No, Paniki. You come hither. You're the onus. You guys are... you need to move quickly. Alright, let's get your mercenaries now while we can. Boom. We do have a lot more income now. Let us drop this. Huh? Okay, that's a little bit better anyway. Okay, so enemies of Kyrgyz, doing okay. Ooh, gold chevron. Hell, I think, yeah, hell yeah. You are training the fudge up out of these fools. Slaughter. What does this do? Let's see. Authority. Military fervor. Right, let's do this. I don't even care about the other stuff. Thunderbolts of Zeus. Yeah, I don't think anyone appears to be attacking Oreo. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this army to attack this Athenian army. It will be an ambush. And... I really don't have to fight it, but I think I'm going to. Just because I would like to have a battle in an episode here. and Yeah. It is what it is. I'm going to do it. How they cannot see me, I don't know. But, again... It's a game, so. Battle of Pharsalus, or Pharsalos. Again, a very important battle was fought there during the 
Roman civil war between Julius Caesar and Pompey and the Republicans, and <clears throat> Caesar, of course, won, was victorious, crushing defeat of Pompey, Pompeian forces, or the forces led by Pompey. Very interesting battle. I've always been very, very fascinated by that battle, how it could have been different. But, again, I'm kind of critical of Pompey in that situation. Pompey basically pissed it down his leg. He was under a lot of pressure to do certain things in certain ways, and he was by far the most the most um, experienced of the commanders, and for whatever reason, he let the inexperienced fools, the politicians, who are usually inexperienced fools, <laughs> um, make him act against his own judgment, and yeah, basically pissed it down his leg. It's wonderful. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically try my best to just charge in and cut off everything that I possibly can. Cut off their line of retreat. Use my use my peltasts. I don't know if they're not called peltasts, but again, collectively they're called peltasts. They pelt you with stuff. Literally. That's what they're called. So the cavalry will be back here, hopefully doing some cycle charging against their their own peltasts. Let's get going. They cannot see me for some reason. I don't understand why. Let us attack their general. Let's send my cavalry around the back. Basically, you gents. Actually, I'm going to bring you up this way, actually, to tell you the truth. Like so. <clears throat> Let's go. Captain Obvious is going to freak out here in a minute. Our hidden units have been discovered. Really? I do have some cav. Can you start firing, friends? Please do so. All right, you guys can now charge in. Boom. Do not need to be in formation attack. Hey, gents, from here, attack cav. It's only light cav, so we should be able to... They'll be light, of course, which means that they'll be difficult to chase down, but we should be able to defeat them. Peltasts. Yeah, they're going to attack my infantry, but we should be okay. You can come over here and, and charge in. Flank. General. Over here and help my cavalry. We'll win the flank and we'll surround them. Excuse me as I itch my ear. <coughs> Pelt us. You can actually start pelting these stupid fools. Cavalry's going to take it in the shorts, but I don't really care. Seem to be getting the upper hand here against their cav. Are you fighting? What are you fighting? I don't even know what you're fighting. You're fighting something. We need hippies. Okay. A bunch of peltasts and garbage. Peltasts, let us get you over here and start pelting. Come on. Pelt in here. Pelty, pelty. We got some cav getting beaten up, but oh well. They're just chucking stuff. So let's get over here. My general out of harm's way or whatnot. Let's attack in the rear here. Let's attack in the rear here. Cav, come on. Should be destroying their cav. Yeah, I know. He's under attack. It'll be glorious. Why are you over here? You should be over here. Boom. Are these all peltasts. Okay, peltasts. I'm going to pelt ass, get over here and charge, or not charge, fire. Okay, let's bring you over around here. Yeah, I'm going to lose some hoplites just from the damn pelt ass fire, but... I'll pick it up sooner or later here. Come on, attack in the rear. Come on, general. I need you now. These cavalry have been beaten. Come on, cav. Need to cause more damage than this. Broken them, so let's get this group of cav now in here. Now that you are stuck in, let's get my let's get my uh, infantry also involved here. Really? What is that? Oh, cavalry. I don't care. Basically, cavalry just get these fools stuck in, and then yeah. Okay, what is this? Can you fire some stuff, stupid bastards. 
Come on. Oh, yeah. Crap. They got behind me. All right. Spartan hoplites. This isn't the way the Spartans would have fought, typically, but it is what it is. You've won here. Let's attack here. Attack here with hoplites. Come on. They're broken. We need to destroy them quickly. Doing some damage to my general units. Well, he's only lost one man. Who's wavering? Ah, oh, my fucking cavalry. Come on, Cav. Boom. 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 War cry, yo anuses. Come on. Boom. Well, if I lose all my mobility, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. We did beat that Cav now, finally. Bring you friends over this way. Cavalry has somewhat chilled out a little bit. Kind of. Sort of. Come on, General. Their pelt ass are always going to be a big pain in my ass. All right. Let's get you guys over here firing. Bring you around this way. Let's... What are you doing? Oh my god. Get over here. Hello. Come on. Broke them. Cav. Let's go break these fools now. The Greenian Axemen. They're running away. Broken them. Okay. Yeah, they took some Peltast fire. You guys evidently cannot do anything. Okay. Do not fire at will. Oh, what is this? Dirty. Javelin men, well, let's go tear these fools up before they are able to really do much of any damage to me. They did do a good job of getting in behind me, but part of that was all those damn peltas. I had to chase them all over the all over hell. Come on. Come here. Hey, these fools. Can you fight? Kill them. You do not need to run after them. I think we've got that pretty much figured out over there. They're basically breaking all over the place. Let's hit these fools in the flank now. Yeah, kind of a messy battle, not the way the not the way the uh Spartans would have typically fought, but oh well, it was an ambush. Oh no, we're gonna kill as many as possible now. I hate you, damn Athenians. Athenian scum. Belt tests? Come on. You guys can all come back here. I'm more interested now in killing their infantry, so you can go and chase Pelt tests all you want, but I want these fools to die. Come on. Come on, Pelt tests. Let's go. Are we chewing them down? We are. We're catching up to them and eating them. Nom, 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 nom. All right. Good stuff, friends. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Cav. We don't have much left of you, but... Let's do what we can. Inspire you. I don't know why, but... Second wind you can move faster, right? Into the breach? I don't know. I don't know what that does, but I don't care. Okay. Come on, kill here. This is javelin men, but whatever. What is this? This is all my Spartans. It's my general, okay. And we are chasing these fools down and eating them up. Great. Lovely. Come on, pelt asses. Get your asses over here. Get your pelt asses over here. Come on, Cav, let's get over here. Help me. Love me. Come on. I want you to come here and kill. Come on. Kitty, kitty. We're not going to catch them, are we? You're very tired. They're probably exhausted, so maybe, maybe not. Probably not. All right, well, that's about all we're going to be able to do, I think. So let's escape. I'm not going to be able to catch the rest of them. Quit battle, decisive victory, and battle. We beat that army. Yay. Lost 800 men. A little over 800. Some due to friendly fire. Well, that's Cleomenes. Ooh, interesting. We, we we hurt them. They're hurting now. Hurting units. Let us... They're Greeks. Let's release captives. Just for fun. Could chase them down, but why? The Beatine League already took all of that. Well, okay then. Alright, let's force march ourselves back as close to Oreos as we can. I don't think anyone's going to threaten me, but... There's that possibility that... Oh, they have a fucking... That this army is going to cause me trouble, so... <clears throat> anyway, 
And that's all she wrote. So, okay, well, friends, I'm going to end the episode here. You did get a battle in. Hopefully in the next episode we'll be fighting some stupid Roidian fools. And, uh, yeah, so please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back very soon with uh, probably more wonderful trash. <laughs> I'm Atagadius Magnus, and I'm signing out.